Mohamed Salman from the uh, University of uh, Montreal. He is the 2003 uh, Arbitral Award recipient, and his area of um, research, now we're kind of going away from the uh, cervical cord and looking at connections, would be another aspect of, uh, that has an enormous importance to the spinal cord injury, namely uh, bladder function, so we have uh, various ways to um, restore bladder function as well. Thank you everyone for uh, giving me this opportunity to of course uh, survive what you are doing and uh, thanks of course for the, <coughs> this uh, formal uh, foundation. So this is, uh, as you see here, the bladder uh, widening. Uh, so this is a term of uh, maybe <coughs> recording uh, I mean, uh, one thing was happening with the bladder, a term of uh, volume and uh, collection of urine and then a uh, different stimulation strategy in order to uh, avoid it. So uh, this is a short, again, uh, uh, this is uh, when uh, waiting is needed, there are some synergy between uh, the ladder, the diffusion of the ladder and, and the sphincter and the uh, way. That means uh, many research work being done in order to help uh, uh, me solve this situation as it is. So different type of uh, neuro and, uh, and uh, um, stimulation and modulation. Then uh, summarize about the circuit stimulation we, we did so far, and uh, we are pushing uh, further in order to to improve the way we gain and uh, now the monitoring and measurement is a big issue with the So, uh, uh, summarize all these means the dysfunction in general is our incontinence and the retentions. So, uh, the big, I uh, think, uh, uh, problem or, or issue is retentions and how uh, can be solved because of our little uh, complication due to, to uh, Capitalization, as you know, uh, and then uh, complete stimulation of the of the muscle of the bladder cannot really uh, solve the, the, solve the problem and uh, induce some kidney uh, uh, complications among others. Then uh, <coughs> this uh, nerve stimulation uh, provokes uh, synergy I just mentioned about. Then uh, uh, so far, uh, 30, 40, 50 years ago, work start. Uh, that means uh, in order to solve this, this problem uh, using uh, another block, high frequency block, and uh, isotomy. So uh, one of the successful system is uh, is a friendly system in the UK, and now is in, in North America. The name is Bocar. Uh, is doing some isotomy, but uh, there are a common disadvantage, as I mentioned here, means. Uh, there are uh, somehow irreversible uh, cutting of nerve and that not will really receive as it is. So we have reduced safety stimulation in our lab uh, in Montreal, uh, <coughs> collaboration between the University of Montreal and the uh, University. Uh, the idea is uh, uh, to apply a signal like this having two main uh, uh, set of parameters. Uh, one is uh, low frequency, which is uh, the typical uh, stimulation, current stimulation, current, uh, the constant current stimulation, I mean, and uh, as connecting with a high frequency one, the low amplitude. So the high frequency one is to, to address uh, means, uh, the strength velocity, and the low frequency is to address the detrusor. And then uh, the idea is to relax the strength of compress the ladder and the void. This is what it's about. Then uh, uh, this is when, when, when the voiding is needed and in, in the rest time there are applying a trail of person like this. Uh, this is what you call permanent low frequency in order to keep uh, maybe the shape uh, of the ladder. This is a couple of results uh, now is uh, when uh, the safety stimulation is applied. Uh, increase right, the, the, the pressure around the sphincter, around, sorry, the, the, the dispersal here, and uh, reduce and house the pressure around the sphincter in order to relax the sphincter. And this is the EMG, this is the muscle of the, of the sphincter uh, uh, showing the activities here. While we are stimulating 
in permanent, that means there's time. Uh, you can see here those uh, pressure for both for the blazer and for the sphincter. Uh, they have a low and uh, there are some, uh, of course, activity coming from uh, uh, again the sphincter to show uh, closing the sphincters. This is a typical result uh, coming from, of course, animal and dog. Uh, so this characterization you can see uh, uh, means uh, uh, I would not any really avoiding uh, by stimulation. When we use only low frequency stimulation, we can uh, uh, easy to avoid up to thirty percent only. Combining uh, the selective low and uh, high frequency and uh, during the first time is permanent, uh, we were able to uh, get this result. And then uh, coming back, this is uh, somehow uh, the protocol we used that shows the effect of uh, the selective here. When you come back to low frequency only, you can see what's happening and the representation. So this is a couple of, of course, uh, X-ray control the system. Now, uh, <coughs> uh, it, it helps the circuit simulation, but uh, still not enough, but around, uh, uh, around the 70% of the case uh, can work in anyone. So we, we believe we can do more. Then uh, we are using, uh, so far, uh, now uh, high frequency rotate, are using sine waveform. This is, uh, uh, for example, uh, <coughs> When we apply some uh, uh, sign uh, uh, waveform here, you can see this is uh, activity through the nerve, and we can stop it. Uh, this is, is coming from the telemetry somehow. So we now we develop uh, those system. Uh, we just uh, summarized here means that uh, those uh, white uh, uh, circle there are for uh, typical stimulation or frequency stimulation. And the red one is uh, for the sine wave applied uh, block. I mean, the idea is there are a reflex uh, axis everywhere in, in, uh, between the bladder and the spinal cord, and then we want to stop those reflex for investigating. And with this, uh, we can sign. This is a typical information here showing, uh, showing us when we stimulate only here at, uh, as the S2 uh, uh, in, in animals, so we can see uh, there are uh, a high pressure of the center. And little and the, and the bladder. When we stimulate in both sides, there are much more again uh, between uh, pressure developed around the center, which is definitely close. And then here, when we block uh, those uh, 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 interferences, you can see here by what side by form, you can see how we can drop uh, the, 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 the pressure of the system. Of course, with those systems, we are measuring uh, what's happening between uh, uh, those uh, two and uh, this shoe. This is this contact with the importance of the uh, characterize this is, is, is a big issue to see what's happening. So this is a, a, a small circuit again that uh, can, can, uh, can inject some small current and the measures the voltage and we can, of course, conclude from there the, the change of the impedance of this interface. So this is typical uh, force wire engineer, uh, bioengineer doing a lot of electronics. So the system is, this is the ampered part. Uh, a typical device is to have antenna with uh, the signal coming from outside to power up and, uh, and to get uh, the information to program the system. Uh, one block for stimulation, one block for fatiguing uh, using those signs and the channels. Uh, and a small now chip uh, outside also control with Z. So this is uh, a lot of uh, data. <laughs> then uh, we built many circuits of these, uh, many devices uh, with years. So uh, now uh, uh, 10, 15 years working on these. And uh, the idea, uh, those are F part, those, uh, I don't know, many part are, uh, are using three component, but uh, recently we are developing, of course, a microsystem, microchip. Uh, every one of these is around one by one millimeter, giving you an idea and the idea to, to put all those uh, needed functions to operate to measure in, in, one, in, one, in one device. So monitoring now is uh, the big issue. We uh, want to measure the volume and have a, a feedback system. Is uh, the system can measure the volume and can adapt the parameters by itself automatically. So uh, <coughs> the idea is to, of course, to improve the treatment in general. I want to notify uh, the data that we inform the patient about the volume. Then uh, uh, enhance, uh, of course, uh, the design of the neuroprosthetics uh, implant here and reduce any of the, uh, this is uh, the, the, the main 
need uh, for that. It's difficult uh, this uh, measuring the volume of any, uh, any uh, and uh, over the time so far it's still not easy because all these here. <coughs> so in general, uh, shape and pressure depend on patient condition. There have been uh, a lot of different conditions. There are, uh, there are uh, also uh, uh, chemical properties uh, in the face of these uh, after resistance now. Uh, okay, and the uh, high complexity of the neural controls. There are many issues that uh, can be, of course, discussed under, but this is to say measuring the volume by implant inside the lab is not easy. Uh, many people try it, and there are uh, a lot of, uh, uh, of techniques uh, were based on uh, tissuography, as you see here, to try to, to solve the tissue, but not implant yet. So the, the time is uh, very short. Uh, <coughs> then uh, we want to build a system uh, which minimally does it uh, the same, it's uh, efficient, and all uh, this uh, uh, in uh, to, to look a good system. So uh, <coughs> we, we believe uh, we can measure now uh, from the afferent information that leaves this uh, bladder spectrum going to, to the spinal cord and from there to the brain. We can measure for signal. Many people tried this. We tried this in a few years ago. We were not able to only measure by a calf to the nerve. But now we have a new technique which we can uh, go to the, to, the, to the cell level, to the different uh, fibers inside the nerve. And from those uh, fibers, we can, of course, there are a couple of, uh, uh, of, uh, of fibers of, of cell are uh, really uh, somehow giving response about the body of the blood. And we are doing so the uh, cell uh, sortings, you know, that means natural pressure sorting from different cells and can from the from the retrieve, retrieve the information. So this is good new idea. Uh, when we fill uh, a big inside the bladder, there are an increase of the bladder pressure and there are of course systems can be collected from 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 the signal we measure around the nerve and then we can go to the fiber again and you can see here there are much more activities than here. With a human fiber, for example, down to our this prior to something like So, just to uh, summarize about what you are doing in terms of that body, selective secular rules, real uh, system, and of course, uh, uh, that uh, body measurement. There are a lot of challenging issues here, and of course, transition from animal to human is still to be done. Uh,